नारायण नमस्कृत नरं जीव नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती वाचम तथो जय मुदीर चिदम ते पुंदरी काक्ष नमस्ते विश्वभावना नमस्ते स्तु हृषिकेश महापुरुष पूर्वज सदक्षर ब्रह्म ये ईश्वर पुमा गुणोर्मी सृष्टि स्थिति काल सलय गुणोर्मी सृष्टि स्थिति काल सलय प्रधान बुद्धियादि जगत प्रपंच सूह स नोस्तु विष्णुर्मति भूति मुक्ति ज्ञानस्वूपमत्य निर्मल परमात तमे अर्थस्वूपेण भ्रांति दर्शन स्थित विष्णु ग्रसीष्णु विश्व स्थित सर्गे तथा प्रभु प्रणम्य जगतामीशम अजम अक्षय अव्यय कथया यहां दक्षाद मुनिसत्तम पृष्ट उवाच प्रोवाच भगवान्ब्जयोनि पिता पराशर स्टार्ट टू Uh, tell maitreya what he has heard from vasishta and others so kathayami yatha purvam guru parampara matra darshayati dakshadhyehi munisattamaihi bhagavan prishtaha bhagavan abja yonihi pitamahah yatha akathayat tatha so as uh, brahma told daksha and other uh, sages i am going to inform you whatever he has told me so it's a uh, uh, pramana purvam here that's all so he wants to prove that he doesn't say anything which is his own opinion but he is only relating what has been said before taihi cha uktam purukutsaya how did he come to that knowledge come to receive that knowledge how did parashara come to receive that knowledge so we'll start from the ninth shloka taihi cha uktam purukutsaya bhu bhuje narmada tate saraswatayatena api mahyam saraswatena cha तैही च तैही दक्षाद्यै मुनिसत्तम पूर्वश्लोक अन्वय सो तैही दक्षाद्यै मुनि नर्मदा तटे भूभुजे पुरकुत्साय उक्त सो इट दिस् वाट एवर वॉज सेड बै ब्रह्म टू दक्ष एंड अदर सेजस् बै दे इट वॉज सेड टू पुरकुत्साय भूभुजे द किंग पुरकुत्स Uh, heard it from these uh, uh, sages uh, on narmada tiram and then from him from the uh, uh, tena api purukutsena bhubuja by that king saraswataya uktam so you take this uktam from each uh, 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 connected to each line so saraswataya uktam and then saraswatena mahyam uktam so saraswata told me which is parashara here mahyam is parashara <clears throat> what he said he is going to start off with the vishnu stuti again uh, so before starting as soon as he answered uh, as soon as he started his answer also there was a uh, uh, vishnu stuti and then after the gurum parampara he is going to start off the whole thing with the uh, description of who that uh, supreme entity is upon which the entire who has created the entire world okay so he starts off with a few descriptions of uh, vishnu again paraf paranam paramaha paramatma atma samsthitah roopa varnaadi nirdesha visheshana vivarjitah uh, it continues to the next uh, shloka uh, apakshaya vinashabhyam परिणाम ऋद्धि जन्म भी वर्जि शक्य वक्त यदा अस्ति केवल सो यू टेक् दिस् फ्रम हियर फ्रम दिस् श्लोक एंड कनेक्टेड टू द प्रीविय श्लोक सो बोथ श्लोक आर् सिंगल सेंटेन्स हियर ओके सो यहाँ पर परम यमात्मा यहा आत्म संस्थित रूप वर्णादि निर्देश विशेषण वर्जि यपक्षय विनाशाभ्या परिणाम ऋद्धि जन्म भी वर्जि यदा अस्ति केवल वक्त शक्य सह सदा अस्ति केवल वक्त शक्य सो दीस् टू हेव टू बी कनेक्टेड हियर विद यो यहाँ पर on a very small level you can think that whatever we think is high he is greater than that if we understand that what we see what we grasp what we understand is the final thing then there is something beyond that also which is paramatma so paranam parah sarvotkrishtah iti vaktum shakyate athava indriyebhyah parah ityukte indriyagrahyah nasti 
he cannot be grasped by the outer indriyas or even mano indriyam so he is beyond the uh, manasa agocharaha indriyaihi api uh, agocharaha indriyanam agocharaha so paranam paraha indriyebhya api paraha he is beyond the indriyas sarva utkrishtah ityarthah there is another word now paramaha too many para parama here so we have to distinguish each word here paramaha paramaha is the ultimate para in the sense yesmat paraha na vidyate sarvotkrishtah that's why i prefer the uh, definition of indriyebhya paraha for paranam paraha and then take this as paraha yesmat na vidyate for whom there is no other there is no body beyond greater than this paramatma sayeva paramatma this paramatma who is the ultimate uh, reality or the supreme reality he is beyond the indriyas and there is no body beyond him okay so paranam paraha paramaha paramatma atma samsthitah cha if there is no body beyond him then what is his support atmani eva samsthitah स्वस्मिन्नेव आध्रियते ही डज नॉट नीड एनदर आधार फॉर हिम सो अनन्य आधार सएव स्वस्मिन्नेव तिष्ठति आत्मने संस्थित आत्म संस्थित यूप वर्णादि निर्देश विशेषण वर्जि टेकन द व्याख्यान ऑफ श्रीधर स्वामी हियर रूप वर्णादि निर्देश विशेषण विवर्जि विवर्जि हि इज डिवॉइड ऑफ एनी विशेषण एनी अब्जेक्टिव विच विल इंडिकेट रूपम ए फॉर्म और ए वर्ण अ कलर और जाति एक्सेट्रा और एनी नेम नाम सो यू कैन हैव फोर टाइप्स हियर विच इज रूपम इज शुक्लादि सॉरी रूपम इज फॉर्म शुक्लादि ही इज वर्ण और ही टेक्स रूपम इज शुक्लादि विच इज द कलर वर्ण इज ब्राह्मणत्वादि वर्ण एंड देन आदि शब्दात यू टेक जाति एंड क्रिया जाति हियर इज त्वम यू कैन यूज दट ब्राह्मणत्व क्षत्रिय और मनुष्य देवत्व इत्यादि जाति विशेषण तस् न पाचक इत्यादि निर्देशन विशेष अशक्य इन देंस शुक्ल इज वर्ण सॉरी शुक्ल इज रूप ब्राह्मण इज वर्ण गौ इज जाति लाइक गोत्व एक्सेट्रा एंड देन पाचक इज अम लेट से नॉम एंड क्लेचर और लेबल दट यू गिव हिम अ पोजिशन दट यू गिव हिम तादृश चिन्ह तस् न विद्य है सो रूप वर्णादि निर्देशन विशेषण वाट इज विशेषण विशेषण अब्जेक्टिव से अब्जेक्टिव फीचर बट विशिष्य दर्शयती विशेषण इट इट सेपरेट सॉरी इट डिस्टिंग्विश सम वन फ्रम अनदर पर्सन वेन ऐसे अयम शुक्ल अथवा इयम गौ कृष्ण देन इट जस्ट डिस्टिंग्विश द डार्क कौ फ्रम द रेस्ट ऑफ द कौस so visheshanam is always a distinguishing feature so etaihi nirdeshena etesham nirdeshena visheshtum na shakyate you cannot distinguish and uh, point out to the paramatma using these things using these visheshanas there may be five books in my uh, uh, library i say okay bring that book what book the big book or the small book or the white covered book something you know which has a graphics Th- that sort of a distinguishing feature cannot be put to attributed to paramatma or yadva rupaadi nirdesha vivarjitah kimartham rupaadi abhavat atayeva visheshanairapi vivarjitah since he does not have any rupam etc he cannot be distinguished by that so it's another way of indicating he doesn't we cannot distinguish him based on rupam this thing etc because he doesn't have rupam i would combine both and not use this yadva at all i don't know why he gave it in two different ways but that's fine so paraha paranam paramaha paramatma atma samsthitah rupa varnaadi nirdesha visheshena vivarjitah yah 
सह अपक्षय विनाशाभ्यां परिणाम ऋद्धि जन्म भी वर्जित शक्य वक्त यदा अस्ति केवल देर आर् सिक्स भाव विकार फॉर एनी पदार्थ देर आर् सिक्स स्टेजस् फॉर एन ऑब्जेक्ट द सिक्स स्टेजस् आर् अस्ति जायते परिणमते वर्धते अपक्षीयते विनश्यति दीज आर् फस्ट इज अस्ति देर इज एन एक्सीस्टेंस फॉर इट जायते इट उत्पत्ति the it is produced and then parinamate it changes vardhate it increases apakshiyate it slowly deteriorates and then virashyati it gets destroyed these this is the common uh, attributes or this is uh, these are the vikara changes for any vastu that we see in the world the moment there is a change which means it is a it is not an nitya vastu anityam okay so yadyat vikriyate whatever has a change that is not nityam if anything if you see an object which has any of these changes then it means it is not nityam now in contrast to all of these vastu that we see which have these vikaras paramatma does not have five of these vikaras it has only one of this not vikara one of one of the state एकाएव अवस्था परमात्म वर्त है शेषं सर्व तो त्र विकारा एव सो जायते उत्पत्ति इज अ विकार परिणमते चेंज इज अ विकार वर्धन इंक्रीसिंग और ग्रोविंग इज एन अदर विकार इट्स अ चेंज अपक्षीयते डिटीरियशन एंड नाशा वेर एज अस्ति एक्सीस्टेंस इज जस्ट वन स्टेट विच डज नाट चेंज एंड ओनली दैट स्टेट इज अवेलेबल इन परमात्म अपक्षय विनाशाभ्या वर्जि परमात्मा इज डिवॉइड ऑफ अपक्षय डिटीरियशन एंड विनाश डिस्ट्रक्शन परिणाम ऋद्धि जन्म भी चर्जि एषा यट परमात्मा विच इज आलो वर्जि डिवॉइड ऑफ परिणाम चेंज ऋद्धि इज वृद्धि इंक्रीसिंग ग्रोविंग एंड जन्म उत्पत्ति विवर्जि वर्जिता यदा अस्ति केवल सह वक्त शक्य है सो दट परमात्मा कैन बी टाक्ट अबउट एज आलवेज एक्सीस्टिंग सदा अस्ति अस्त वक्त शक्य है न अन्यथा सह परिणमते सह वर्धते इत्यादि तो त्र न सज्जते अपक्षय विनाशाभ्या परिणाम ऋद्धि जन्म भी वर्जि शक्य है वक्त यदा अस्ति केवल Uh, another definition for vasudeva sarvatra asau samastancha uh, he uh, even though we say that he is only present and he does not have all these attitudes then what is his relation with what we see in front of us that connection should come here you use till now he has only explained him as someone separate paraha paramaha आत्मनि एव संस्थितः सह जगति विद्यमानानां रूपाणां संश्लेषः एव नास्ति तत्र ही डजन हैव द विकारस दैट आर फाउंड इन द ऑब्जेक्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो व्हाट इज हिज रिलेशनशिप टू द वर्ल्ड दैट इज एक्सप्लेन्ड इन द नेक्स्ट श्लोक एज अ डेफिनेशन फॉर वासुदेव सर्वत्र असौ समस्तञ्च वसति अत्र इति वै यतः ततः स वासुदेव इति विद्वद्भिः परिपठ्यते असौ सर्वत्र वसति असौ परमात्मा पूर्वोक्तः परमात्मा द वे यू हैव डिस्क्राइब्ड हिम इन द टू श्लोकस ही रिसाइड्स एव्रीवेर सर्वत्र वसति सह एंड अत्र अस्मिन् परमात्मनि अपि समस्तं वसति एव्रीथिंग एल्स रिसाइड्स इन दिस परमात्मा बिकॉज ऑफ दैट रीजन ततः सह वासुदेव इति स एव वासुदेव सो वासु वसती और आच्छादयति हि कवर्स एव्रीथिंग हि एनकंपास एव्रीथिंग वासु स एव देव दीव्यति हि आलो इल्यूमिनेट्स एव्री ऑब्जेक्ट दट इज देर इन दिस वर्ल्ड सो देव वासु च असौ देव च वासुदेव सर्वत्र असौ असौ यस्मा असौ परमात्मा सर्वत्र वसती हि हि इज प्रेसेंट एव्रीवेर and yataha cha because of the the reason that atra asmin paramatmani samastam cha asti 
and everything else is present in him as an aadhara aso sarvatra vartate ityukte antaryamitaya saha sarvatra anusyutataya vartate and if everything is there in him tarhi eshah eva aadhara bhutataya vartate ite everything else is present on in him so atra samastam cha vasati ततः तस्मात् कारणात् सएव वासुदेव इति विद्बुद्धिः परिपठ्यते तद्ब्रह्म परमं नित्यं अजं अक्षयं अव्ययं एकस्वरूपं तु सदा हेया भावात् च निर्मलं नो द मोमेंट वी हैव गिवन अ कनेक्शन बिटवीन द जगत एंड द परमात्मा इमीडिएटली आवर माइंड ब्रिंग्स अप द डाउट ऑफ we just showed that he is different from this world but he is present inside the world and the world is present in him what is the relationship between the two of them does he get affected by all those things that are affecting the world that we see in front of us na so tat brahma paramam it is the greatest nityam it is present always eternal yatha yadyapi jagat tasmin vidyate tathapi J the the uh, uh, the idea of anityam jayate kriyate ityadikam to that is not present in brahman so we did not we in the first two shlokas he said brahman is separate from the world then he said no 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 it is not completely it seemed as if he was saying that it was very different but then he says no it is not different he is present in antaryamitaya vartate and he is uh, 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 present in the world is present in him as an aadhara also okay now this is a common concept this is a common concept in advaiti concept too uh, uh, because antaryamitaya is sakshi bhutam when you when you talk about ishvara as associated with maya he is a sakshi uh, in every you, you can't take it as ishvara is the sakshi here atma is the sakshi in every jeeva and present in all the uh, objects sakshitaya so that is your advaiti concept antaryamitaya ishvara rupena iva tatra parabasudevena parabasudeva rupataya sarvatra vartate iti vishishta advaita concept tatah savasudeva iti vitpadbihi paripathyate now because of this connection that he has said in the shloka 12 we have a doubt whether he is uh, um tainted by the qualities of the world to say that he is not tainted by those qualities he says nityam ajam akshayam avyayam nityam he is eternal ajam he does not janma nasti tasya nakshiyate akshayam avyayam he cannot be divided objects in the world can be divided into parts swagata beda sajatiya beda vijatiya beda ityadikam tu vartate so he does not uh, uh, he cannot be separated into these sort of vedas and understood ekaswarupam because he is of one form and sada heya abhavat sada nirmalam he is always nirmala pure because there is nothing to remove from him in a sculpture you are slowly trying to remove what is not needed and trying to form an object here that sort of an object forming is not necessary for the parabrahmam because there is nothing to be removed from him sattva pradhanataya sattvodrekah vartate tatra iti karanat rajastamobhyam na lipyate saha iti cha heya heya ityukte something that has to be removed that is not present there heyasya abhavat saha sarvada nirmalah eva there is no malam associated with him so tat brahma परमं नित्यं अजं अक्षयं अव्ययं एकस्वरूपं तु सदा हेया भावाच्च निर्मलं तदेव सर्वं एव एतत् व्यक्त अव्यक्त स्वरूपवत् तथा पुरुष रूपेण काल रूपेण च संस्थितं स्थितं नौ देयर आर फोर फॉर्म्स ऑफ दिस परमात्मा बिकॉज़ दोस फोर फॉर्म्स आर गोइंग टू हेल्प इन द सृष्टि हि परमात्मा परमः आत्मनि संस्थितः सएव दिस वर्ल्ड वाज देयर एंड दिस वर्ल्ड एग्जिस्ट्स इन हिम ही आल्सो एग्जिस्ट्स इनसाइड द वर्ल्ड बट ही डज ही इज नॉट ही इज इन द वर्ल्ड बट नॉट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ही इज नॉट कनेक्टेड विद द वर्ल्ड ओके 
Now, Tadeva Sarvam Yetati. Now, how did this come about? How did this world, how was this world created completely? That he is now starts off this Rishti Prakriya. In order to start the Rishti Prakriya, he first talks about the four different forms of Paramatma. The four forms are Vyaktam, Avyaktam, Purushaha, Kalaha. Purushaha, the term Purushaha is given to Paramatma the moment he associates himself with Pradhanam. Which is the abhyaktam pradhanam, abhyaktam or prakriti maya. All are similar terms here. So abhyaktam, which is the unmanifested form, or prakriti, it is also called maya. The, the term in Sankhya uh, philosophy is pradhana. This is very much in tune with the Sankhya. Uh, Advaitins will take Sankhya philosophy as and when they want and let go. For Srishti Kriya, we need Sankhya philosophy because he is the one who has given that Prakriya for us and we use that for Advaita. So Purushaha, Purusha Rupena, Kala Rupena Cha Sthitam. He first is in the form of Purusha, who is a uh, Chit, uh, Satchid Ananda Swarupam. And then Kala, he is also Kalam, he is also the Vyakta, manifest forms, which is Mahat, etc. And then Avyaktam, the unmanifest form, which is Pradhanam. He is going to describe each one. And before we go into that, it will make it easier if we know what each one is. So first, uh, there is only Paramatma. He takes on Maya, that Maya is Avyaktam. So the first thing that comes is your Purusha and the Pradhanam is the first one. Purusha exists because there is a Pradhanam. Otherwise, he will not be termed as Purusha. He will be termed as Atma Swaropam or Jyotihi, Ananda Swaropam, Jnana Swaropam, Ityadika. So, Purusha Yada Bhavati Tada Pradhanam Tasya uh, Antike Vartate or in him. Now, this is Avyakta. From this Pradhana, the uh, 26 Tattvas come out, which is the first one is Mahat. And then from the Mahat, you have Ahankaram. From the Ahankara, you have the Pancha Tanmatra, Pancha Karmendriya, Pancha Jnanendriya, etc., etc. And then the Srishti Krama starts from the Pancha Bhuta. Okay. These are all the manifest forms of Vishnu. There is none other than all of these Vyakta forms, all of these Srishti is Him. Avyaktam is also another form of Paramatma. Pradha, Purusham is also another form of Paramatma. This fourth one, last one, is the primary catalyst for everything to start. You have all of these separately. They have to come together and there should, there should be an agitation for it to start the Srishti process. And that is done by Kala. Kala is called Gunakshobhakaha. There are three Gunas in Maya, which is Sattva Rajas Tamas. If all, three, all these three are in the balanced state, nothing is going to happen. No Srishti will happen. There should be an imbalance or an up and down of all these three gunas. And that catalyst is your kala. Time becomes the catalyst for srishti. That time is also paramatma. So kalaha is another form. This is the fourth rupam of paramatma. So tadeva sarvamaya, sar, tadeva sarvameva etatu, tatu brahmayeva etatu, pura, puro drishtam sarvam etatu jagatu eva. That katham abhutu, vyakta, avyakta, swarupavatu. It is of the form. This entire world is uh, of the form of vyakta and avyakta swarupam. Tatha pur, purusha rupena, kala rupena cha sthitam asti. So what is of this form? It is paramatma. But at the same time, that paramatma is what you see in front of you, which is the jagat and which is of four types, which is purusha, kala, vyakta, avyakta. Okay. Parasya Brahmanaha Rupam Purushaha Prathamam Dvija Vyakta Avyakte Tathaiva Anye Rupe Kalaha Tatha Param. Parasya Brahmanaha Prathamam Rupam Purushaha. He Dvija, He Dvija uh, uh, Parashara addresses Maitreya here. So He Dvija Prathamam, first form of the Parabrahma, Parasya Brahmanaha Prathamam Rupam to Purushaha. So that's why I said the first form is Purusha and he becomes associated with Pradhana. Vyakta and Avyakte, Tathaiva, in the same manner, Anye Rupe. The next two forms are Vyakta and Avyakta, which are manifest and unmanifest forms. Okay. Next is Tatha Param Kalaha. 
then you have kala or actually the next three forms should have occurred at the same moment because uh, you should have avyaktam in the beginning and then vyakta and kalam or kalam should come as the third and then vyaktam should come later that's how it is arranged in bhagavatam here the process seems to be a little different it's okay ప్రధాన పురుష వ్యక్త కాలానాం పరమం హి యత్ పశ్యంతి సూరయ శుద్ధం తద్ విష్ణో పరమం పదం దెర్ ఆర్ ఫోర్ రూపస్ ప్రధాన పురుష వ్యక్త కాల ఏతేషామీ యత్ పరమం అస్తి దాట్ విచ్ ఇస్ బియాండ్ దీస్ ఫోర్ రూపం ఈజ్ విష్ణో పరమం శుద్ధం పదం ఇది సూరయ పశ్యంతి పశ్యంతి ఆమనంతి వదంతి సూరయ విద్వాంస దోస్ హూ అండర్స్టాండ్ ద తత్వం దే ఆర్ విద్వాన్ దోస్ హూ కెన్ రియలైజ్ దిస్ తత్వం దోస్ హూ అండర్స్టాండ్ దిస్ సృష్టి క్రమ అండ్ ద ఫైనల్ ట్రూత్ దే కాల్ ద పదం ద స్థానం విచ్ ఇస్ శుద్ధం విచ్ డస్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ఫోర్ అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ ఆఫ్ వ్యక్త అవ్యక్త పురుష అండ్ కాలం దాట్ పదం దట్ స్థానం ఈజ్ విష్ణో పరమం స్థానం శుద్ధం స్థానం అస్తి ఇది సూరయ పశ్యంతి బికాస్ ఇట్ ఇస్ బియాండ్ ద ఫోర్ ఆఫ్ ప్రధాన పురుష వ్యక్త కాలాన పరమం సో ప్రధాన పురుష వ్యక్త కాలానాం పరమం హి యత్ స్థానం విద్యతే తత్ తు శుద్ధం విష్ణో పరమం పదం ఇది సూరయ పశ్యంతి వాట్ ఆర్ దీస్ ఫోర్ నౌ ప్రధాన పురుష వ్యక్త కాలాస్తు ప్రవిభాగశ రూపాణి స్థితి సర్గ అంత వ్యక్తి సద్భావ హేతవ నో దీస్ ఫోర్ రూపాస్ ప్రధాన పురుష వ్యక్త అండ్ కాల కాలాహాతు ప్రవిభాగశ తస్య రూపాణి ఏవ దే ఆర్ హిస్ ఫార్మ్స్ అండ్ దే ఆర్ హేతు రెస్పాన్సిబుల్ ఫార్ స్థితి సర్గ అంత వ్యక్తి సద్భావ సో అభివ్యక్తి and sadbhava astitvam so this is responsible these four forms of vishnu are in turn pravibhagashah according to the different uh, uh, categories that is sattva ahankaram gives rise to certain things and then rajasika ahankaram gives rise to certain things tamasika ahankaram so tadrisha vibhagah kriyate pratyekasya api you don't find only these four rupams in the world what is this vyaktam that which is manifest has to be present in the form of different vibhaga there are different uh, uh, categories for it and how does these categories how are these cat, uh, how are these uh, uh, created in this world tyukte etesham roopanam vibhagena eva utpatti hi jayate these are the hetu these are the reasons for sadbhava sadbhavana irup adavadu existence or utpatti here so vyakti is abhivyakti either the manifestation or the utpatti or the manifestation in the form of utpatti it makes more sense abhivyakti hi which is in the form of utpatti for all of the objects that are present in the world so sthiti sarga anta and then prakasha uh uh sadbhava is so sthiti sarga antanam prakashah utpatti hi ubhayor api hetavah ete etani roopani is it clear so these forms are reasons for the existence or creation and manifestation of the world with respect to its creation antam and sthiti okay because it's a huge vigraha vakyam samasta padam it is so giving a vigraha vakyam might be a little tough so sthiti sarga antanam vyaktihi prakashah sadbhavah utpattihi etayoho hetavah rupani so pradhana purusha vyakta kalastu pravibhagashah rupani sthiti sarganta vyakti sadbhava hetavah vyaktam vishnuh tatha avyaktam purushah kala eva cha క్రీడతో బాలకస్య ఇవ చేష్టాం తస్య నిశామయ ఐ విల్ టాక్ నిశామయ ఈస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ నిశామయ నిబోధ అండర్స్టాండ్ అబౌట్ హౌ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఓకే సో వ్యక్తం విష్ణు 
tatha avyaktam cha saha vishnu is both vyaktam and avyaktam he is the unmanifest form and the manifest form karana dashayam tu saha avyaktataya vidyate vishnu karya dashayam tu vyakta rupena he is manifest as this entire world he is the same as purusha and kala now how does this work there is, now he gives a an example so in bhagavatam you will find such examples and uh, udaharanam in a very easy manner because it's more uh, uh, the style is of a later style this you will the examples you will find very far and few in between kridataha balakasya cheshtam iva tasya cheshtam nishamaya a boy a child who is playing will do certain actions he will say okay one he will just keep one probably a doll and say okay this is the a great army that is standing here with just one doll but he will decide that it is Uh, 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 is it? so there are some parts which are manifested that is there is an object in front of that boy which will create a world for him and that world will also be not seen there is an avyakta part also in him which is not manifest directly in the form of objects in front of him but there are actions that the b- playing boy takes which seem as if you know like how this world has been created there are some parts which we can see and understand there are some parts like maya prakriti uh, uh, sattva ahankaram satvika ahankaram or tanmatra these are all things that we cannot see and perceive and understand it uh, in whatever manner so tatha a boy who plays a child who plays he would come and give you a cup and say okay drink the milk that is there inside we make that action also and play according to that so there is something that is visible there is something that is not visible tatha tasya cheshta api vidyate we don't know what he did behind the screen here right the same way we don't know what this boy does in his play tatha kridatah balakasya yah balakah kridati tasya cheshtam iva bhagavatah cheshta api vidyate kinchit there are some parts which are vyaktam there are some parts which are avyaktam okay uh so padarthas like akasha are not considered as avyaktam it is vyaktam because it is one of the pancha mahabhutam and it is responsible for shabdam as, as they are, those are called both vyaktam and avyaktam karana dashayam tesham tu avyaktam tum vidyate karya dashayam tu tesham api vyakta avyaktam so the pradhanam is avyaktam the rest are all vyaktam and avyaktam with respect to which karya dasha or the karana dasha okay so vyaktam vishnu tatha avyaktam purushah kala eva cha kridatah balakasya iva cheshtam tasya nishamaya tasya cheshtam tasya paramatmanah cheshtam nishamaya shrunotu avyaktam karanam yat tat pradhanam rishi suttamaihi prochyate prakritihi sukshma nityam sadasadatmakam this definition of prakriti is the exact same that you will find in uh, sankhya karika avyaktam unmanifest karanam which is the source for everything in this world yat vidyate tat pradhanam iti rishi sattamaihi prochyate so that is called as pradhana or yat avyaktam karanam pradhanam iti rishi sattamaihi prochyate tat prakritihi uh, um, or, or we should take it like this right <laughs> too many gender differences here kanichana padanitu strilinge vartante kanichana napuntikalinge vartante so it's uh, tough here okay yat avyaktam karanam vidyate tat pradhanam prakritihi sukshma nityam sadasadatmakam cha iti rishi suttamaihi prochyate or yat that which is the karanam moolam for everything and that which is avyaktam unmanifest that which is nityam or Uh, the, uh, that is called pradhanam prakriti another word for it is prakriti it is also a subtle form sukshmam because indriya grahyam nasti nityam it is eternal sadasad atmakam as long as this world exists the maya also exists so only for a uh, atmagnyani natu jeevan muktasya atmagnyani after videha mukti 
when the when he attains moksha after this body goes away that is when he the maya also goes away from him tatparyantam tu nityam eva nitya maya sadasadatmakam it is both sat and asat in the sense it is sat in its karana dasha asat in its karya dasha it has both the karya shakti and the karana shakti with it it, it transforms into the karya hence it is the karyam also so any yatyat karyam tattat asat so asat atmakam cha maya karana dashayam tu satyeva because it is the source just like mrit which is your truth that is maya so sadatmakam cha sadat sada sadatmakam nityam avyaktam karanam yat vidyate tateva pradanam prakriti hi sukshma iti cha muni rishi sattamaihi prochyate Uh, I'll stop with this. Narayanam Namaskritya Naranjeva Narottamam Devim Saraswati Mbacham Tato Jaya Mudirayat. Any questions? Twelfth Shloka Lavandu Pari Pattyate Vardhi. What is that? Artham Nainadu? Pari Pattyate Na Padikya Padigiradu. It is being said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, ग्रंथेशुठ्यवि Okay. Can you please say how Maya is Sadasat again? Karana Dasha versus Karya Dasha. Cherry. No problem. So Maya, इप्पन दे अरे ना तमिल ला सुली डट टक्कन ओं इजी आर को माये इंगर दे कारण अम्मन ऐड कर चे ओं ने कोण दे कारण अम्मे लल्ला में सत इट इज ट्रू बिकॉज़ इप्पन मृत्यु ने ऐड तो अम्मना मृत्यु विकार अस्तु घटा हा यद्य विक्रियते यद्य उत्पद्यते tattu asat that's a rule that we have taken so which means karya dashayam tu asad iti maya eva yataha maya yaha vikarah eva jagat jagat karya so maya karanam or pradhanam is your karanam adukapra unak jagatna utpadaha sollitomna andunudeya utpatti sollum bodu adu mulka unak karya dashava aidrudu adu karyam angum bodu aduk asat because yadyat kriyate प्रधान जीवन जगत जगत जीवन ब्रह्म काल माया कर्म इन अंजुमे There is no utpatti for all these things. Vinasyati praya ha. Maya to adhanalada mande videha mukti modu ona ke naasha mada yar dinne. Prida. Oh. Hmm. Adhan yenge karana dasha ila sat karya dasha ila asat tengro. So in the satvam kuda jivan mukti pariyantam. Videha mukti pariyantam. So it's not. Hmm. Adu jivan mukti pariyantam. Oh. जीवती सती मुक्त अंद प्रारब्धकर्मावशाइकलोनी karmana kriyate ana cycle maatuk keel pogum ullu it just keeps going down the hill it rolls down your prarabdha karma is like that it hmm. keeps on going down and until you it comes to a stop naturally so until then you see the functioning of the maya i eppadi illa kekka it's an experience that so no, nobody has been a jeevan mukta to understand what it is you can only come closer to it with udaharanas <laughs> 
சோ இந்த மாயா வந்து காரண தசாயம் சத் அப்படின்னு சத்துவம் அதுல இருக்கு அப்படின்னு சொல்ற பட் இந்த டைப் ஆஃப் சத்துவம் is is different from the type of satvam that brahman paramartha satvam illa ah so it is ah. not that type of a satvam adu okay, vandu okay. final adu uttruvom adhu da konja ah ah yeah okay. can be satt asatt cha atma yasya illaya adu eppadi vikramakkam varum nu enakku therilla sometimes in the words ikla i can't find out trungo <laughs> But, but Anna, he is responsible for both Asat and Sat. That's what I'm saying. No, Sat Asat, Atma Kammana, it is of the form of Sat and Asat. Maya or Karanam Pradhanam is of the form of Sat Asat Cha Atma Yasya Saha, Yasya Tat, Sat Asat Atma Kam Pradhanam. That's what I'm saying. கொஞ்சம் சி புராணம் அண்ட் யூ நோ பட் இட்ஸ் அ குட் எக்ஸசைஸ் இஃப் யூ ட்ரை தட் ட்ரை டு டூ த விக்ரா வாக்கியம் ஃபார் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ கிரேட் எக்ஸசைஸ் வரும் ஆனா டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் இட் வித் சூத்ராஸ் இஸ் டஃப் டோன்ட் ஆஸ்க் மீ ஃபார் சூத்ராஸ் தேட் பார்ட் இஸ் சம்திங் ஐ கான்ட் ஓகே பாப்போமா ஆ நெக்ஸ்ட் வீக் தெர் இஸ் நோ கிளாஸ்